Okay, so sorry, I didn't manage to get the last, I wanted to do the last video in its entirety in 15 minutes, but it didn't work out. So here's part 3.1. That's sometimes the way it goes. But I want to, I don't want to just pretend and do a Microsoft demonstration, if you will, where everything just works. Well, maybe it does work if you do it correctly. But, you know, a bit more real world, you'll encounter errors, but it's, you know, keep your wits about you and you're perfectly fine. So we basically had a permission error, didn't we, in the last pipeline attempt. So we, we got over the access token issue and now it was saying, we, and it, it was quite explicit, we didn't have contribute permissions to the Git repository. And basically, if you think about it, the critical bit of that PowerShell script is to commit to the repository. So if we take a the repository, we've still only got our initial readme file that we did at the initialize stage, but now we need to give permissions to this repository. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the gear icon in the bottom left-hand corner. We're going to click on repositories under repos and we're gonna to go to security and you'll see that you'll have this build service and then a name in brackets. So we're gonna set contribute to allow and we're now gonna go back to our pipeline. We're gonna click the pipeline. We're gonna run the pipeline, run again. We're going to then click on the job and let's see how we get on this time. Okay, so the tasks are starting to run. And this is where you place your bets. Is it going to work? Although funnily enough, the Power Platform, well, not it's not funny at all, but the Power Platform installer tools, they're pretty robust and they've got, you know, specified attributes that they're expecting. So I must admit personally, it is the script portion that has tripped me up the most in, in any of this setup. But I do, I do find the, you know, the errors to be quite meaningful, which is helpful when you, you always pretty much a, a Google search away from just pasting in the error and, and finding the answer. So the export succeeded, which we expected, the unpack, and finally the PowerShell script has completed. So perfect, that's job done. So let's just wrap up and see what we've got from our pipeline. So here basically, this is the unpackaged version of our solution. So we've got it file by file, which is gonna work with source control. So ultimately, You've got your MS app file there and then all the other files associated with it. So each time you make changes, it will be able to come in, analyze it at the file level and track those changes. So that's all, all I wanted to do for part three. In the next part, we're going to take that unmanaged solution in a pipeline. We're going to put it into a temporary build environment. So it will we'll be repackaging it up as a solution importing it but it's still unmanaged at this stage then exporting it as managed we'll have a managed solution artifact and that's when we step into the world of releases which is effectively a kind of final pipeline if you will it still works on the premise of, of tasks but you, you you can sometimes do a, a bit more and hopefully in a future video i want to combine all of this with doing testing stages before you ultimately commit a release as well. So thank you for watching.